All right, guys. So with the new uh, Cookie Alliance that has been updated, I'm going to be sharing you guys a team that you guys can use right now uh, to clear all the way from uh, just the easy all the way to expert here. Um, and this is going to be on Joy Rose account. Uh, so just keep in mind, uh, this account is pretty darn old. All right, still uh, almost uh, probably like close to three years old. So she's been playing pretty consistently. Uh, so you guys can see that most of the older epic cookies as well as uh, meta uh, epics have been uh, ascended pretty high. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but here we go. This is going to be the team with all epic and special here. Uh, I took out Frost Queen. Frost Queen is going to be the better uh, replacement in here. Or you can use White Lily in here, Golden Cheese in here, uh, even Black Pearl. But Captain Caviar is pretty darn strong too. Uh, so I just wanted to share it with an epic team so that you guys can use this, uh, you know, a little bit easier uh, than having a uh, Frost Queen lit with level 21 of the Crystal Jam uh, because uh, Joy's is pretty darn high. All right. Uh, you know, Frost Queen is one of the older, uh, oldest legendary as well. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but let's get into the topping real quick here. Uh, we have five of the Swift Chocolate for Icicle Yeti. Icicle Yeti does a great job in blocking a lot of the incoming damage as well as healing your cookies. Uh, it's a great, uh, you know, uh, cookie to use for the Cookie Alliance. And a lot of people are using it for, you know, things like uh, the Beasties as well. So I would highly recommend if you guys can get Icicle Yeti uh, to actually just level Icicle Yeti up uh, as much as possible too. All right. And then, of course, uh, you just focus on the cooldown as well as extra crit attack, um, you know, just to increase the overall healing as well. Just to let you guys know, attack is going to uh, increase the healing. Uh, all the healing is based off of the cookie's attack stat all right so people are still asking hey hyrule why 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 increase the attack uh for healers they don't want to do damage they increase healing all right and increase percentage else also uh crit if uh, healing crits increase it by 150 percent or 100 and all the way to 90 percent depending on your um your your extra boost uh, that you have from the lavatory as well as landmarks and things like that all right next one is going to be financier i would say for financier best one is going to be five solid almond for the cookie alliance especially for most players uh, so that you can focus on the dam uh, damage resist. Uh, extra cooldown, definitely, definitely very, very uh, good. And an extra defense. Uh, the magic candy for Financier for this particular account is at level 10. And I do recommend at least level 10 if possible in order to have that extra attack for uh, Cran Brulee. Next one is going to be Captain Caviar with 5 of the Syrian Raspberry. Damage resist, extra cooldown helps out. Uh, extra attack and crit will definitely work too. Uh, but you are focusing on the extra damage for Captain Caviar. Uh, we do have the Enchanted Robe on Captain Caviar as well, uh, with the extra little bit of attack speed. Okay, and then the Magic Candy level for Captain Caviar is also level 10. You want that because you want the extra damage if possible. Um, I would say having that extra, you know, explosing damage uh, at least uh, gets you a little bit further, closer or to the damage that Frost Queen is able to do. Next one is going to be our Cran Brulee, of course, with the five searing raspberry damage, uh, uh, resist focus, attack focus, and extra attack speed. All right, attack speed is definitely going to help out Cran Brulee in order to get that Enchanted Robe buff, do extra damage as well. And the last one is going to be our Cream Puff with five of the juicy apple jelly because. Cream Puffs uh, Magic Candy level is not level 20 or 30. Uh, if you guys have it anywhere below uh, level, you know, uh, uh, 30, you want to have that extra uh, Juicy Apple Jelly for the extra crit because, you know, you're just not going to be able to get to max um, um, uh, extra attack uh, increase as well as the crit damage increase as well. And then extra cooldown. Damage is this. Not as important just because if you do crit, uh, you do get some extra you know, damages is from her actual buff of the magic candy. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that is also a thing. So you don't really need to go insane on the damages. I, I in my opinion. Um, and then of course, any of the replacement will be like, you know, uh, financier, uh, you know, it could be replaced with fettuccine elder fairy is actually a really, really good one too. Um, and I would say burnt cheese is decent. Hollerberry is, uh, you know, possible if you want to just go with the single, tank crimson core also does work out and then you can put in like snapdragon instead of captain caviar of course uh, again frost queen golden cheese uh white lily uh black pearl kind of works out too uh and then of course if you don't want to use uh you know cranberry you can put in a secondary uh damage dealer in there as well um i would say for any of the newer players uh that are trying to clear as much of the uh you know uh, cookie alliance as possible if you did actually pull for uh you know our uh caramel chew then you can kind of use caramel chew in here as well instead of 
our uh, cream puff. Not the best replacement, but it is a replacement. I am going to be doing it without any other buff. I would say make sure to at least get the light buff and, uh, you know, the water and the, uh, the ice type if you guys can. Uh, especially because you want to get the buffs that are going to increase your damage dealer's uh, damage. But here we go, guys. Uh, I'm going to do it without it. And uh, we do have the uh, beaker. All right. Or the beacon. So here we go. All right. So here we go. Just uh, quickly going through, going through, going through. We're going to put it at auto, of course. Um, we're just going to keep it uh, very, very simple for everybody here. Um, and you can see Icicle Yeti kind of just jumping in there, helping out with the, uh, you know, blocking the damage. Fitness here uh, doing great in uh, the extra little healing, protecting uh, as well. Uh, Captain Caviar is going to be taking the shield uh, in this particular case because of the extra, you know, uh, attack that he is getting from the, uh, the whole, you know, Syrian Raspberry. Uh, so his overall stat is just a little bit higher than, um, you know, Cranberry 2. I believe right now Cranberry is 4 star ascension while Captain Caviar is also 5 star ascension. So there is that difference. So here we go right now. Water type damage is up. So Captain Caviar is definitely going to be doing a little bit more damage here. Isaac Yeti doing great in helping us, uh, you know, deal with that extra damage that uh, Golden Cheese is going to do. Uh, again, the Enchanted Rub buff is on Cranberry as well as Captain Caviar. It helps out Captain Caviar too in order to uh, get that actual torpedoes. Uh, you know shooting super super quickly um, and then we also do have the whistle which is going to be applied to uh, Cranberry as well as Captain Caviar all right um, and it, the extra crit definitely helps out in cream puff uh, getting that extra healing up getting that um, extra you know attack boost up uh, so it works out it helps out um, so here we go and here comes the next one uh, the little boss we got. Um, so we got the Alchemist. All right, you can see the extra light damage up. Uh, that is mainly because of the Finisier's uh, level 10. All right, uh, Magic Candy effect. All right, and here we go. This one uh, is going to be the fire type. Not going to be much use for us uh, because of the fact that we don't have any fire type, uh, you know, attack here. Uh, definitely, again, if you do use Frost Queen with the, you know, Crystal Jam, I would say that is going to be the... Uh, the faster method uh, than actually using Captain Caviar. And also, you guys saw that the Biscuits um, actually didn't really share it uh, on screen, but they're all level 1. Uh, they're all not attuned. Uh, they're all super, super low. Uh, so just keep that one in mind. I'm doing it without any buff, uh, any uh, basically Biscuit uh, uh, upgrades as well. Uh, just to show you guys something that you, know, you guys can use. And you guys can even get further and faster if you guys actually put in uh, the extra attunements, uh, extra, you know, uh, buffs as well for your biscuits and the artifacts, okay? Uh, so there's that. It's getting a little bit tougher uh, in actually dealing with the uh, bosses just because, you know, uh, the magic candies are all level 10, 10, uh, 18. You know, uh, Crystal Jam of 21 of Chris, uh, Frost Queen is something that I would love to see here uh, you know, in most cases. But right now we're just trying to do it with all the epics and stuff. Uh, but... You can see that, you know, the Cookie Alliance has gotten, in my opinion, a bit easier. Uh, the reason why is because we have the new Biscuit system, right? Uh, so the Biscuit allows you to gain that extra boost of the stats, uh, get that extra attack, get that extra attack speed, get that extra, you know, uh, crit, cooldown, whatever you need uh, in order to uh, go beyond where you initially were, right? So there is that part as well. All right, we're getting on to wave 19. We're getting close uh, to the very end. Uh, there we go, last one. And now we're going to be on to the boss. Uh, and that is going to be the uh, the Dark Enchantress, uh, four of the uh, Dark Enchantress cookies that we have gotten. Dark Choco, uh, Poison Mushroom Licorice, and Pomegranate here. And uh, for the team here, not going to be much of a problem. Cranberry really, really doing well in getting rid of all the bosses. And Captain Caviar also doing a decent amount of damage there with the burst. And that is going to be the team you guys can pretty much use uh, to clear from, uh, you know, easy all the way up to expert. Of course, master is going to be a bit tougher to do. Uh, it's Again, I, like I said, it's getting easier and easier. But uh, this is going to be something that you guys, that's kind of tangible. Uh, for players and also uh, you know again you have rooms to improve because we didn't use uh, you know maxed out uh, 
biscuits. We didn't use a biscuit even on like ca uh, Captain Caviar uh, and even Icicle Yeti, I believe, uh, right now. So, the, and we have again artifacts that are not even attached uh, or upgraded for our cookies. So you can see right there, level one. Um, this is level one. This is also level one. So there's a lot of uh, improvements that you can make. Uh, so make sure to do that. But uh, that is a team that you guys can use. I will, okay, uh, this time around, I actually will uh, go and upload a video for Master and uh, Hero that I have not really done in the past. Uh, but I will definitely do that, guys. Uh, make sure to go and farm uh, for your, uh, you know, relics as well. And uh, farm your extra materials from the Cookie Alliance. And make sure to get all the... Uh, you know the rewards that you guys can uh by participating in the cookie alliance this season for season 2-6 thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys all on the next video